Till I close my eyes Cause I can see a hater in disguise But me, I keep it moving Yeah, real positive With that good soul And that good knowledge Of course I keep it going With my raps when I'm flowing I'm the truth, the real And yes, I'm spoken And anything try to stop me Will get broken I don't fuck with y'all And I don't keep no secrets Music I am TV Radio Live Talk show you already know who i am variety the analyzer you can go ahead follow me on instagram and twitter at music imtv and also subscribe to my youtube channel music imtv appreciate all the love all the supporters you know tonight you know what i mean i'm gonna get my host up in here real quick you know my co-host real quick up in here before i get into this interview with a, a special guest i got you know knocks the truth if y'all don't know about him, y'all going to know tonight straight just like that. If you go on Cypher City TV on YouTube and go check out Battle on the Beat, he definitely doing his thing. So let me get my co-host in here real quick. You know what I mean? What up, what up, what up, West Side Noise? Brother Music, what's happening with you, man? What's good, brother? You already know, man. You know another episode here, man. I'm about to get... You know, quick exclusive interview from one of the MCs coming up on Battle on the Beat, uh, Knox the Truth. I'm sure yes. you're a little bit familiar with him, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know that, man. That's what's up. Let the world know where they can find you at on the net and who you are. Mm. Man, the line is short. Brother Jeff, Google Plus, Brother Jeff, Facebook is real short and simple. Ain't nothing. Follow your boy. If not, I definitely understand. That's what I'm talking about, man. Y'all already know, man. That's Brother Jeff, West Side Noise, all the way from Cali. That's right. Let's get that right. I'm about to get Knox the Truth up in here. Um, Real quick, Brother Jeff, I'm going to put you on mute real quick. So just hold on. You feel yes. me? Yes, sir. Right. Knox the Truth, you on. What's good, brother? What up, what up, what up? You already know, man. Let the world know who you is and where they can find you at on the social network. What's good? It's your boy, Knox the Truth, a.k.a. I know what's, a.k.a. call it whatever the fuck you want. It's fire. You know what I mean? Y'all can find me on uh, NOAExclusive.com, KnoxTheTruth.com, uh, on YouTube. It's like the city page and my battle on the beach up there. Uh, add Knox the Truth on Twitter. Just Knox the Truth all across the board. That's N-O-X, the truth. All one word. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Knox the Truth, you are an MC, right? Yes, sir. You do music? Hell yeah. How many years you been doing music, go brother? Going on like 15 years. Mm. And what got you into music? My mom's was a DJ, my pops was a singer, niggas I used to come up with on the Crazy. block boys. I mean, vice versa. My, mm. my mom was, was a singer, pops was a DJ and shit. And mm. um, so it just it came in my blood. Like, I got an uncle that's the South Shadow. I always let niggas know that, you know, so that, that the blood runs deep, you know. Right. And um, basically just came out my whole life listening to music, hip-hop specifically. And um, I don't know. I just figured one day I was gonna do it myself. Started picked up the pen and haven't stopped since. And that's what's up with you. Like fifteen years, you said, right? Yeah. Mm. What inspires you to do music? What inspires you to be an MC? Shit, just the passion and the love that I have for it. Um, you know, like everybody would say, "Oh, that's my song." They heard a joint. And it brings them back to a certain memory, to a certain point in their life. And, like, now having been writing for so long, I could do that same shit with my own lyrics, you know what I mean, with my own tracks. So I just, I focus on trying to give the people good music, you know what I mean, to try and really bring that about, to try and leave my my mark, my legacy with the world. Mm. Do you associate with the fans? Uh, well, yeah, I'm just starting to try and, you know, build the fan base up, to talk to anybody that um, you know, that's listening to the battle on the beach now. I'm getting a lot of buzz going, so 
you know, I mean, I haven't had a chance to actually fucking, aside from at the shows when people come through, politics with people afterwards, but. All right. Um, this question right here, man. Now, you gotta ha- you gotta have tough skin in order to take criticism, and that's a fact. If you in this game and you don't know how to take criticism, and this is to every artist, get the fuck out now, because you gotta be able to take criticism, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take heed to shit sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? As an artist, because I'm an artist myself, so. My question to you is, how you take criticism? I mean, I, I consider myself pretty uh, tough-skinned, like, I can handle whatever people got to say. I mean, I have my own opinions, though. You know, like, I let niggas know how I feel, too. But I can deal with it. Everybody's entitled for their opinion. That's what I always say. You know, um, criticism comes with the game. And that's facts, whether it's good or bad. If, 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 if as as an MC, you should be watching the hip hop culture for real, for real. If you in it, you feel what I'm saying? That's me, because I'm like I said, I'm an MC myself. So criticism is good for me. I always say that. But um, that's definitely good to know. What makes you different from other artists? Well. My content, for one, like, for one nigga seen on the battle on the beat is my, <clears throat> you know, my straight cutthroat shit going hard. But I got a lot of other shit, too. Like, I'm a real well-rounded artist. I ain't a one-trick pony. I say that all the time. Fucking, um, my delivery, my flow, my presence, my track, everything's different. Everything's my own. I've, I've molded and twisted everything to, to make it mine. You know, I've, I really found something that works. <clears throat> okay. All right, you said you got music. You got any mixtapes out? Yeah, I got one I dropped right between the lines. Um, I dropped that like last year, but I got one about to drop by the end of this month, beginning of the next month, um, sometime around then, like January, February. Um, it's called Let the Truth Be Told. My nigga CeeLo, shout out to CeeLo, that nigga been helping me. We gonna get this shit going. I got a couple of collabs with uh, Boom P, Fred the God, um, Divine from Dead Press. You know, so we working. We out in the street, just making shit happen. You know what I mean? That's what's up, to man. Motivation. That's right. That's what I like to hear. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Knox the truth. What do you think about hip hop? What do I think about it? Mm-hmm. What's your opinion on hip hop nowadays? The way hip hop is, because you I know hip hop like changed. Oversaturated. Hip hop's been oversaturated with a lot of garbage. You know, a lot of the time. I mean, you know, they they starting to pull out, put out some decent art again. Like, you know, I know Fab just dropped, Cole just dropped, fucking. But it's just been, it's as I said, it's just oversaturated with garbage. Too many people are out there putting out bullshit mm-hmm. tracks with a with a dope hook. And a dope and a dope beat and thinking that that's just gonna blow up like. I mean, so you think hip hop is in a low? Right so you think hip hop is in a low state of mind right now? Yeah, definitely. Everybody's, you know. I don't know. I just I feel like we all falling into the same cookie cutter bullshit. But. Mm. Okay. What 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 inspirement words you got for another artist? Stay true to yourself, whatever that may be, however that may fall into context with your life. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. don't switch up for nobody. A lot of niggas that have critiques and want you to do other shit or whatever. And I mean, you can hit them out, but at the end of the day, you got to be you. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not yourself in this game, then you don't have anything. You know, like, you have no morals, no, no uh, individualism. Okay. Who is Knox the Truth? Who is Knox the Truth? Well, I'm your favorite rapper, even if you haven't heard me before. That's for damn sure. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> facts. Fucking just a chill type nigga, you know, drink, smoke. I don't know. <laughs> mm hmm. 
<laughs> I ain't not. I own my shit. <laughs> All right, Knox, the truth. I'm gonna, let's get let's let's get to the motherfucking bottom of this, man. Now, Battle on the Beat, Cipher City TV. You know, yeah, shout out to shout out to Rock the Hustler. Shout out to Boss Man One Five Five. You already know what it is, man. Much love and respect to them brothers. You know what I mean? Um, how did you get in contact with Battle on the Beat? Well, with Cipher City and them. Um, my man Shilo, like I was just telling you about him and shit. <clears throat> um, he fucked with the whole PY movement, play yours entertainment and all that. So I was I was fucking with them and and um still in putting projects out and doing that. And he introduced me to the whole Cypher City game. He was telling me I gotta get down. You know I gotta start messing with these niggas. They on they on come up. They working. You know they always grinding. They ain't never stopping the grind. So. You know, I, I gave it a shot. I started talking to Rock the Hustle. I came through for a couple of Who Got Ball sessions. I did a um a hip hop invasion. You know what I mean? And as niggas started hearing me and they was giving me more and more love, you know what I mean? It just kept drawing me back. Like I just I had to beat it. So uh then the whole battle on the beat concept came up because one day niggas came for Who Got Balls and that was right around the time when uh, uh Zero Two One Hundred had just dropped. And um, like six niggas in the room had a joint to zero to a hundred. You feel me? Like yeah. I did it first. Then some other chick came in. She jumped on the yard. I'm telling you, by the end of the night, it happened like five or six heads that had jumped on the same beat. So that was where the concept came up. Like that's where Rock and Boss Man and all of them came up with the concept. Like wait, hold up. Why don't we, you, you know, utilize this? Like every artist want to go off on the same beat. Why don't we make it a contest to see who really got bars? Like, who really right. is the best who handled that? You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's ironically how everything wound up getting started. And how long And how long you been with Battle on the Beat? Uh, a few months now. Mm. When we did the first one, it was just a few months ago. Two yeah, months yeah, ago, like two months, two months ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. two or three months ago. Um, How you feel about Battle on the Beat? I really I fuck with it because it's a good it's a good entry for niggas that really don't want to do the battle rap don't want to be pigeonholed as a battle artist because fuck all of that I mean you know I show love to the battle artists and I like the battle scene and all that but I just feel like at the end of the day once you start in that lane you stuck in that lane period you know mm-hmm. so it's dope for us to be able to showcase talent and get in the street grinding without having to do that like you know just by showcasing pure talent bars. Performance, getting your shit up there, like sharpening your blade. Like I, I fuck with it, and I'm a, I'm a young head, but I know a lot of old head niggas are telling you that back in the days, that's all it was was battles on the beat. You know, niggas wasn't doing all that, all that oh acapella shit, whatever. You know, you had either your man was beatboxing or they had the ones and twos, and you know, yep. niggas flipping on the beat. So I don't know, I, I'm feeling it 100. percent I feel like this this shit definitely gonna pop as long as we keep this shit moving, keep it grounded. You know what I mean? We ain't never gonna stop. We got a lot of niggas on the team that's hungry, that's grounded. Mm. And 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 you only been with them like two months, correct? Yeah. That's what's up, man. I definitely see you yeah, working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going on like three months now. But when they first started, yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely see you. You know, uh, how should I say it? Developing. You know what I mean? I see you growing. You know, um, who was your toughest, who was the toughest MC you went up against? See, that's the, um, yeah. mm. I would definitely say the closest I felt it was as far as bar for bar um, was that first one with Hat. Just because, right. like, I, I, like, I keep it a buck. Like, I didn't even know it was hat. I thought it was some nigga named Gutter. They, they kept saying Gutter, Gutter, Gutter. So I thought it was someone else. I didn't really think that, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I didn't know who was coming to the to the venue when I showed up. And um, and I just brought some bars that I had written already that, you know, like, I didn't really prepare. I didn't, I didn't expect such a competition. And then when I heard Hat going off, I was like, dang. 
I should have really sat down and written hard for this. You know what I mean? And after that, right. I never made the mistake again. Like, after that, I, I really put work in and Yeah, you learn from your mistakes. Me. Yeah, for sure. Because I, I just told myself I wasn't going to let myself get blindsided again. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Knox, Knox, um, how do you prepare for a beat? I'm not even going to say for an opponent because opponent, it's not about body and opponent. It's about body and the beat. But at the same time, yeah. Letting your opponent know, like, I got bars. Like, how do you prepare yourself? Well, first and foremost, I stay bumping to the beat. Like, if I'm on that beat, I'm going to bump that beat all day. And by the end of the day, I'm going to have fucking as many bars as I possibly can to that particular instrumental. You know, like, I always work. I try to get it all out in one shot. You know, like, not stop and let it go another day and say, you know, like, I just try and put it all down on paper. So, um, way though, like, I jot half a verse down on one side of the paper and then piece it together like a puzzle. We put in punchlines right. to the side. I don't even know where I'm going to put it yet. Like, when you, I'm, I don't know, my shit is all over the place. Like, but, um. You unique yeah, I mean, in your own ways. Yeah, I got my own odd way of constructing a verse, like, not okay. typical just sit down and write straight top to bottom like I put I piece shit together right okay that's dope man that's definitely dope man I definitely I'm definitely happy and glad to hear that man um I'm gonna get my man from Cali West Side Noise brother Jeff and you know what I mean you know maybe he got a question or something you know what I'm saying I'm gonna let him okay. come right in brother Jeff you on <coughs> What's good, brother Jeff? What's happening, man? What's going down with you, brother? You already know, man. You got anything for Knox the Truth, you know what I mean, while we on, you know what I mean? Man, I'm just enjoying the interview, man. I, I honestly didn't have anything for the brother, but I, I will say this. He's uh, he, he's favored down there, man. He's, he's mm. definitely favored down there. He gonna he gonna keep doing his thing. He gonna keep doing his thing. Ain't even worried about it. That's yes, what's up, man. Appreciate yes, that, man. I definitely do appreciate that. Any shout outs, brother Jeff? Shout outs to Knox the Truth. Respect to him, man. Respect to that dude. Good looking, me. That, that, that's what's up, good brother. I'm gonna um, mute you real quick. You know what I mean? Um, talk to Knox, and I'll get right back in. Yes, sir. Knox. Yo. Yo, man. Um, music on MTV, man. Definitely want to take the time, man, to uh, salute you. You know what I mean? I definitely appreciate you giving me the interview. You know what I mean? Um, keep doing your thing. You know, keep going forward. You know, I definitely, um, me and brother Jeff, definitely support the movement, you know what I mean, we definitely keeping tabs, you know what I mean, on everything, so that's a good thing, you know what I mean, um, you got any shout outs? Yes, sir, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the whole site for City Clan, you know what I mean, Rock the Hustler, Boss Man, Pete Cologne, CDI, Swelly, Handsome Hat, fucking David Boss, J. Carl Lay, what up, you know what I mean, shout out to my nigga CeeLo, and the whole PY movement, my nigga Chubbs on the photos. I mean, you already know. Y'all can check me out. Nice the Truth, at Nice the Truth on Twitter. Nice the Truth on YouTube, SoundCloud. Just pick one. Y'all could definitely find me like that. N-O-X-T-H-E-T-R-U-T-H, no spaces. All right? That, that's what's up, man. You already know, man. Shout-outs to you. Shout-outs to Cypher City. Shout-outs to the whole family over there, you know. Shout-outs to Rock. The Hustler, you know, shout-outs to uh, Bossman155, you know, shout-outs to Pico Long, shout-outs to everybody, man, shout-outs to West Side Noise, and, you know, definitely, man, we out. Good night, y'all. All right, one. One.